Uh, there's the cat. <laughs> Cat's just hanging out, looking down at him, thinking like, you idiots. I like that kind of tree, the, the lower branch. <laughs> Um, all right, check this out. You know there's a lot of negative things going on in the news. Of, yep. We've discussed this already. A lot of negative politics, Pandutins, petroleum, uh, Putins, Putins, pissed off Putins, yep. pricey petroleum. We ignore that stuff. We do happy-go-lucky weird things that happen in small towns. And, um, well, my, my friend Justin Clyde Williams could tell you all about it. We're just small town dudes with small town news Breaking stories of crimes committed you never do Mind your P's and Q's or they'll cover you The town may be small but the news is huge All right, man, check out this headline An Indiana boy is rescued after getting stuck in a tree rescuing a cat now, at the beginning of the show, I asked everybody, you ever been stuck in a tree? I want to know the answers to these questions. Has anyone left a comment in the comment section about being stuck in a tree? Nope. No, Nobody's playing along. I guess that's where we, we, we kind of got hung up on. Uh, how about you, Sebastian? You ever I've been climbed st- a lot of trees, and I've chased a lot of kitties and stuff up trees. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 And I've, I've got stuck before. Well, what, how did you get out? What were you doing on this tree? We you, you weren't Clump, chasing a cat. Well, were you a kid? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved climbing trees. I did too. Yeah, I climbed a lot of trees. My, when I was a kid, uh, my my grandma called me a monkey because there was one time where my mom was changing my diapers, right? Mm. And she like turned around to get something, turned back around, I'm in the top of a tree, naked. Wow. Yeah. I belong in the trees. I mean, yeah. look at me. I look like a wood nymph. I look like a damn sprite. <laughs> You know, I look like I should be selling cookies out of a tree. <laughs> I love being in trees. You know, lemur. Yeah. Lemurs? Lemurs. lemurs in trees. They like trees. They like trees. Yeah, sure. It's like a type of uh, monkey. <laughs> sure. I think all monkeys love trees. Well, this dude uh, in Indianapolis, a teenager, scaled a tree at a park to rescue a cat he spotted high up in the branches, ended up stuck in it himself. 17-year-old boy um, was in a park. Saw a cat, tried to, tried to get it. Climbed 35 feet in the air. The teen identified only as Owen. I wouldn't tell him my name either if I was this kid. I'd be embarrassed. Told firefighters he was trying to do a good deed and bring the cat to safety. Now, I have there's a video of this. I say we watch and talk over it. Maybe you'll have some questions. Feel free to weigh in, guys. Uh, there's the cat. <laughs> Cat's just hanging out, looking down at him, thinking like, you idiots. That's not how you do it. He's probably laughing his tail off up there. Go ahead, the Alan Jackson. Yeah, there's the cat. That's a big tree. I like that kind of tree, the, the lower branch. <laughs> okay. Now, that just looked funny to me because he's hanging on for dear life. He's, he looks like a tree hugger. It's technically he's hugging a tree. <laughs> and how many firemen are there? One, two, three, four. There's like six or seven firemen. I hope that it wasn't a house on fire when this happened. <laughs> and I and I and I kind of I don't totally feel bad for the kid as to I want to make fun of him. I hope he learns a lesson. And sometimes shaming the shit out of someone is how you learn not to do it again. <laughs> so we have to shame this kid. <laughs> For climbing up the tree to begin with. What you should have done was call call somebody, but he gets up there. <laughs> he's hanging on for dear life. He looks like he's handcuffed to it or something. It's a windy day, so that probably didn't help. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this guy's going all the Is that a gas can on him? Oh, oh I think oh, that's, that's a tent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In case they get stuck up there together. Um, so they climb this tree. They use a pulley system. Now, in my brain, I'm like, go get a trampoline. This is why we have trampolines. Yeah, can you jump Just out of buildings? Look at, I mean, he's up there, but a trampoline, I mean, I don't know. I, I, would, I would have left that. I felt like at 49, almost 50, I could have climbed down from this. Look at that. Now they're cutting off limbs. Way to go, Owen. Look at him. He's got his hood up. He doesn't want to show his face. He's embarrassed. This is how we learn not to do things. He's pretty nice way up there. He is kind of up there. But how would you have gotten down? I mean, I would have just thrown a rope and said, here, swing down, dude. You know, climb down yourself. The cat's fine. 
Kes just chilling. They're up there. They got this pulley system. It looks like they're going to make him zip line down. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how they should have done it. I'm, I'm just thinking one trampoline would have solved this problem. Or go, go, go get the community get a blanket. Look how many people are down there watching him now. <laughs> He's got an audience. <laughs> There's probably like 60 people down there laughing and staring at this guy. Have you ever seen the movie What's Eating Gilbert Grape? <laughs> Remember when he climbed the water tower? Mm-hmm. Well, they are down. I feel like that's what's happening to this poor kid. He's like, he's like the Leonardo DiCaprio of Indianapolis and in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. I don't know if he has special needs. Um, I don't think he do- does because they didn't say anything about that. That's the only – oh, he's got the hood down. Come on, Owen, you got this. You're a hero, Owen. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look, I'm not, that can't be uh, comfortable. It's like right up in his crotch. He got some long legs. I know. <laughs> I mean, you I'm good climb. Climb. Yeah. 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 Elliot, would you have done this? Gotten stuck. Look at these firemen down <laughs> I've there. I've gotten stuck on a roof before. <laughs> now, let's see what he does. He just runs off, doesn't thank anybody. Oh, yeah. Cat's still up there, by yeah. the way. What are they doing about the cat? <laughs> Nothing. That's it. While Owen had no trouble climbing up the tree, his positioning did not allow the same ease for getting down. Fire, firefighting crews were called to the park, and they used a rope system. We just saw that. Um, the teen was checked out by medics, found to have only a few scrapes, and was released to his parents, although the cat remained in the tree. Hmm. The cat seemed to enjoy the commotion, but made no effort to climb down the tree. Wow. Um, Probably laughed the whole time. Monday, the, the, a 21-year-old woman who was the cat's owner ended up hiring a private company <laughs> to retrieve the feline. So, wonder what kind of tree that was. Uh, it's not a hickory tree. It's not Pussy a willow. Fir- <laughs> Pussy willow tree? There you go. I was curious. I it like does that. look like that. I mean, well, there's a lot of branches. I wonder what private company they hired to go get the cat. What private company does that? I would think you'd have to have like a, you know, a lift. Spider Man, a lift thing. To oh yeah, they could have used, you know, well, we you call know them, uh, bo- like a like a, a extending ladder, yeah, or a bucket, uh, bucket thing, truck. a scissor bucket lift, trucks. yeah, a scissor lift. Now that would have been that's a two thousand well, dollar cat. <laughs> that's right. It's a very expensive cat. It is. Uh, also, I'm thinking maybe the fire department wanted some practice. You know, yeah. maybe they looked at this and go like, we could get the ladder. We could get the bucket. We could get the scissor lift. But we haven't practiced our ropes in a long time. Guys, yeah. let's go get the ropes. Let's practice. You know, so maybe that's maybe that's what they did. Um, yeah. Any thoughts, guys? Completely preventable. <laughs> Completely preventable. Yeah. Would, you, would you have done this for a cat, no. Isaiah? Nope. I wasn't now. Have you ever been stuck in a tree? Have you, Heck you, no. When's the last time you climbed a tree? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to, I'm not sure when the last time I climbed yeah. a tree Me was. Me either, by the way. I mean, today, I'll no tell you. you. I got two cats in my house, and I'll drop the Indiana in a heartbeat. <laughs> the more, I, I, look at, the more I look at this picture, the more I realize he's up there. He is up there. That's but he could have walked. It looks, look how the branch goes down the yeah, further out you get. I feel like you could have walked out further. And it just your weight would have just, just tore the brain. Yeah, you yeah. you know slowly let you down like that. Mm-hmm. What a dummy! Way to go, Owen! <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. If you did, you uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then, if you're gonna do that, you might as well subscribe. And then, you know, if you're gonna subscribe. You might as well hit the notification bell, all right? And uh, and know that I love you. <laughs>